is all cleaned up. I got away from the bushes in the other yard and pulled her up here. We're going fishing tomorrow. Got a few knives to deliver in the morning, and we're going on the river. Stand by. We're going for a spin right now. Down the street here where we live. Stand by. It's Thursday about 1 o'clock. I don't know, 12.30 maybe. I'm still stumped by this house. They're putting big rock columns over the what I call the front of it. And some step looking things over there. But there's no doors. Got balconies. Weird. I guess we'll know more soon. We're working this little drop off right now. If there's anything hiding in here. Well, there's the first target. 17. There's a Great Dane and a three pill nitro. Uh oh. Solid 15. See the fishing boat coming in, they're gonna set their net, it looks like. You remember them from last year? First time I see them on the beach this year. Four scoops, I still haven't got it. 15 solid. Got me a bottle cap. Stand by a minute till I get it. Just as I suspected. Three pills. As a fisherman, we'll get closer to him in a minute. Make it four. I know you can't see it, but the net is in the back of the boat and it's hooked to the beach in front of that truck on an anchor. And they're going to launch the boat off that little trailer and go straight off the beach. I don't know how many yards of net he's got. And he's going to make a hook back to the left. And he'll either let it set tonight or he may fish it tonight or, set it, or fish it again tomorrow. But they usually let it sit, you know, 8 or 10, 12 hours, sometimes 24. Let's move up here in this gravel. This gravel looks interesting. It's got some rocks in it. Not much out there so far. Stand by, I got to drain the water out of my... Make it lighter. Ah, that's better. Okay. I'll get back to you out of the boat but it's going out and they put uh, what we call anchors they put back anchors and inside anchors to keep the net in one place so the tide don't move it 
and probably put, I don't know, six maybe, maybe eight, three or four inside and three or four outside. And then the long end comes way back up the beach. They'll come back up there about where the nitro is and tie that off with another anchor and fish it in a few hours or several hours. See, they're making a hook around back to the left. Net's still going overboard. Long net. And the little fishes are coming out of the bay. They get in the net and that hook, they can't find their way out. Supposedly. On the inside, I got a hit. First piece of gray matter. That's a good sign. Three ounces of gray matter. <laughs> I got it right there. Kind of a midway up a little bit. We'll have to hunt in and out here a little bit. See if we find anything. You can see the Dorian cut the beach back pretty good here. We haven't found much up here. Some of us have been hunting up here, but hadn't been much found. But there's some new sand laying right here where we are now. Back to the sea. Picked up a buddy, it looks like. Stink bug, I think. But I ain't really sure what it is. He's, he's cool looking though. Some terrible looking legs. We got a screeching 30 here. See nothing. Kind of got a little grunty to it now. Might be some iron close to it or something else. All I get is minus six now. Hadn't fallen through my scoop. Keep at it. Stand by till I get it. I know you can't see it, but the fish truck back down the beach with the trailer to pull the boat on, they got in that soft gravel, she went down to their baxels. They had to call their buddy in with that big black truck to try to pull them out. So far they've been unsuccessful. There's the axle deep in that gravel. He backed into a soft spot. It happens. Well, I'm pretty sure I'd have been better off fishing today. That's the best of it. No clue what that is. Junk. Junk. And more junk. See you tomorrow.